What's up guys? Welcome to another video of Tom Fishery. Well, good morning, good morning. It's Fishing Friday. And I am hitting one of my favorite spots again. And if you know, you know. But I love this spot. Out to the coast and back, it is a 12 mile round trip. I don't go all the way out to the coast no more because there's a marine sanctuary and I really don't want to just paddle through. I want to fish. So I don't even go to the marine sanctuary anymore. I just go right to the edge of it and I fish on the edge of it and come back this way. But that's what we're doing today. So let's get going. All righty. So, the one reason, I, I know I've said this multiple times out here, but the one reason I like fishing out here, kayaking out here, it is very peaceful. The only thing you hear out here is cows and birds. So, every once in a while, my lure will get caught up and I'll have to go and backtrack, get my lure up because it caught on something. And nine times out of 10 when it catches on something, it's like a sunken tree limb or something like that that got washed in. But for the most part, there ain't nothing here to catch on. Now when I get out further, there's a couple of places where fences were put across it. But the fences are now rusted through and the poles are falling over. So as long as you stay in the canal itself, everything's okay. But if you get outside a canal, then you end up in the mud flats, which at high tide, it's okay. Oh, there's massive amounts of birds over here. Well, that could be a good sign. That could be a school of stripers pushing bait up. So we'll find out. I don't know if you can see all the bird activity in front of me but they were lined up all the way through here now they all flew off because I came through well, I tried to show you something cool but the birds decided they weren't gonna be cool about it so it is what it is So I've caught fish through this area here before, so let's see what happens.
off his own. We do have fish on, but I gotta get this other pole in. Okay, here we go. We got fish on. Hell yeah, we got fish on. him on the white and red swim bait. I'd say it's a good sized fish. Good size fish. Yeah, yeah. Let's get him. Let's get him. Oh no, 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 no. That was stupid. That was stupid. In the net, baby. In the net. Yes, we are in the net. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. How are you? Nice to meet you. out oh, yeah look at that look at that oh yes that is a fish the beauty yes Oh, 
walls come out. See those clouds? Put them on just like I would a night crawler. Just thread them on. Put them on a bunch. Now let's see if we can get whatever is down there biting to really hook up. Pretty good for stripers. They were really good in the Pelham River at certain times of the year, but we're finding out this time this is a time of year where they're not really hitting power worms that well. That's a freaking crab! Look at that. So that's what down there chowing down. Looks like a little rock crab. Looks like a little rock crab. He ain't letting go. Not letting go. Let's go. Let's go. Argido. <laughs> around his leg. There we go. Yeah, little rock crab. Look at that dude. Or is that a green crab? I'm not sure what the hell that kind of crab that is. Can somebody tell me what kind of crab that is? I'm not sure. I'm not a crab guy. crabs down there so I guess I'll just go ahead and pull up anchor and then do my thing. Well unfortunately I only managed one fish today. But it was a good sized fish so it made me happy. Other than that it was a nice relaxing day on the water. about half a mile away from the truck. I'm still dragging red and white swim bait. Just to see if anything does happen. But I doubt it's going to. So I'm gonna call it a day. Finish up this little kayak trip and hit the road. So y'all have a great weekend and enjoy yourselves. Peace. Hit that like and subscribe button 
or else.